Hello, I'm Michelle V. Hill with the Michelle's Money Minutes. And today I'm going to discuss UW Extension's estate planning series, Planning Ahead Difficult Decisions. The Planning Ahead Difficult Decisions estate planning series will assist readers in understanding options and legal requirements associated with the transfer of an estate. These bulletins are not intended to provide legal or financial advice, but rather to give the readers a more informed understanding of the issues to discuss with their family members, the executors of their wills, and estate planning professionals. Every family faces a death um, in their family sooner or later, and most families are not prepared for this. It is much harder to deal with these legalities and decisions that must be made um, when caring with elderly family members, the end of life issues, disposal of property, guardianships of dependents, and related issues when life altering, uh, with life altering um, losses and emotions. We have 11 estate planning publications uh, that are helped to design families when the difficult steps are needed before and when a death occurs. These publications were uh, created with, with our team, the community development team, and the guidance of a Wyoming lawyer, Aaron Lytle. Um, the first publication is called The Introduction to Estate Planning, and, and that addresses nine important questions about the Wyoming estate planning process and why you sh should consider them now. The, the next one is the estate planning checklist, and that um, is information that you need to assemble before consulting your lawyer, including a point-by-point -point list um, of information to gather before uh, visiting with your attorney about your estate plan, because we know that we pay our doctors and our attorneys for their time and their for their time. So the next one is after a death, what steps are needed. That covers the important things that must be done to meet Wyoming's legal requirements to finalize an estate after a person passes away. The next one is Wyoming wills. Some suggestions from getting the most from estate planning. Um, this provides an overview of how many wills operate, how wills operate and um, offers ideas for taking full advantage of them under Wyoming law. The next one is called death certificates, and that explains the need for death, death certificate under a person's passing and the multiple reasons for the situation in which it might be required. The next one is a walkthrough probate, and this one provides a basic understanding of and steps of the probate process. The next one is disinheritance, we hope that never happens to us, um, answers the question, how do you purposely remove or leave someone out of inheriting your estate? Um, this next uh, publication is called the Personal Property Memorandum, and, and this one explains Wyoming law that allows the use of uh, a document separate from the will to pass on items of personal value and meaning, such as jewelry, precious metals, artwork, firearms, antiques, many more other things. The next one is guardianships and conservatorships, and this one covers the most important, uh, one of the most important issues in estate planning, and that is the determination of how your children um, should be taken care of if you if you pass away and who should have that responsibility. That's a lot to think about and should be thought about way ahead of time. The next publication is the Advanced Healthcare Directive and that provides uh, direction concerning your healthcare preferences and uh, when certain healthcare procedures should or should not be used. And, there, and we have a template in there that you can fill out and bring not only keep uh, give give to your loved ones but to the hospital as well. Many hospitals have blank templates templates that you can use also. And the final and the eleventh publication of this series is called the Durable Power of Attorney. And what that does is it helps in, uh, answer. Um, helps you to think about two important questions that you need to ask. If you're unconscious or too ill to make legal decisions, who will take care of your affairs? Uh, financial affairs, all kinds of affairs. What authority will they have? And so those, all of these uh, publications 
are um, designed to help people just get organized and get their checklists, their timelines ready to go. And remember that self-help documents are, are not a replacement for proper legal advice. Every family situation is unique and one should always use an attorney to make final preparation and draw up the final documents just to make sure that you are um, legally sound. And keep them up to date as well because if you have them out of date, it doesn't help you. Um, it's important to start today and work on your estate. Our publications can be found on U UW Extension, the homepage under publications, and you just type in estate and all of them will come up. If you like this, please like it and share. Thank you so much. Have a good one.